and welcome to New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. This is Ian Stark for New Blue. We're going to be taking a look at the Color Swap plugin in this tutorial. Color Swap is one of the really useful plugins that make up the Video Essentials 2 collection. Video Essentials 2 contains 10 simple to use, time saving plugins, ranging from utility style tools such as lens corrector and noise reducer to creative tools like the vignette or picture in picture generators. I guess Color Swap falls into both categories. Let's start by taking a look at how we can make a simple colour change to this footage. In this imaginary example, we'll pretend that our client has changed their corporate colours and wants to reflect that in an existing promo video rather than having to reshoot. OK, it's stretching the imagination a little bit, but it's a good way to show you how useful colour swap is. The basic process is simple. Select the colour you want to replace, choose a replacement colour, fine tune the mix and voila! Let's step through the process again and see how each of the controls affects the result. First I'll drop the colour swap effect onto the clip. It defaults to using the first preset in its list and if I quickly step through the presets you can see how they can affect the image in many ways, some subtle, some wild. I'll select reset to none to clear all values so I can start from scratch. OK, I want to change the red to yellow so let's begin by using the source colour eyedropper to make my selection. In this image there are actually several different shades of red, so you'll want to try and choose something in the middle of the colour range you want to change. Well it hasn't had a great deal of effect so far and that's because the range hasn't yet been set. The range determines whether other colours that are similar to the one selected are included and that's why you should always try and select from the middle of the colour range you're trying to change. But even if I set this to 100, there's still no change. Now that's because we haven't told the plugin what amount of replacement colour we want to show and you can see that here with mix set to zero. So let's take the mix right up to 100 and see how that affects our image. There you go. But we want yellow rather than grey so let's select our swap colour. Now this is a little too harsh for my taste and it looks quite unrealistic so let's start tweaking the controls and try and even things out a little. Let's start with the range control. I want to make sure that I catch as much of the red as possible but I don't want to turn it up so high that it starts to catch other colours as well. If I go up to 100 you can see it selects every colour in the image which is not what I want. Let's take it down until I have the entire logo selected without any spill. There's a little splash just above the logo but if I turn the effect off quickly you'll see that's supposed to be there. Now let's turn to the fade control. Fade sets the amount of fall off of the effect on neighbouring colours. If you take it up too high, it starts to affect the whole image and we only want it to impact the edges, just to smooth those out a touch. The soften control gives us an even smoother edge by blurring the join between the processed part of the image and the unprocessed part. That's looking much nicer. Finally, I'll tweak the mix. At the moment it's still looking a little unreal, as though it's been painted on. But if I drop the mix down just a touch, we end up with a much more believable image. And of course I can save that as a preset and apply it to other footage as well. If you want to change more than one colour, or if the range of your chosen colour is very wide, you can simply apply another instance of the Colour Swap plugin. In this example, I have three Colour Swap plugins, as well as the Auto Contrast plugin from Video Essentials 3, and things are still running smoothly. Finally, in this clip from a music video I shot a couple of years ago, I have one plugin changing the red to yellow and another changing the sky to something a little more alien. I hope that's given you a little insight into how to make the most of the Color Swap plugin in your productions. For more information about Color Swap or any of the Video Essentials plugins, visit www.newbluefx.com, where you'll also find lots more tutorials in the Tips and Techniques library. This is Ian Stark saying thanks for watching and for learning about New Blue FX. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.